For some companies, the pathway to net zero is far from easy or straightforward. Abatable is helping companies like these build credible climate strategies and offset their hard-to-abate emissions. We went to find out more. Across the world, there are thousands of projects which are actively fighting climate change, from soil regeneration, solar irrigation or cleaner cooking fuels. They need reliable partners to help them finance, develop and scale their projects. At the same time, companies around the world are working hard to hit their climate goals, but more than a quarter of the emissions they produce cannot be reduced or removed with current technologies and it is here that many hit a wall. They need external help to offset their hard-to-abate emissions. One firm in London is bringing everything together. Abatable is matching the companies keen to offset their emissions with high-quality carbon projects that meet their exact needs. With more than a thousand projects in their network, Abatable is building trust and partnerships in an opaque and rapidly evolving industry. They rely on transparency, clarity and plenty of detailed research to help companies make sense of a highly technical world and mitigate most risks. These projects are very risky. Developing, a, for example, a new forest, there's a lot of risk with that. You know, will the forest grow as expected? You know, will the forests be able to create ecosystem services and um, livelihoods for the people that live around the forest? So these are key questions that we help inquire and you know, we help due diligence on behalf of corporates. And that's really where our expertise is from our technical understanding of these projects, the support that we have and the references that we can use to be able to validate and assess for quality. The issue of carbon offsetting is a tricky one. There are fears that it allows a company just to carry on polluting and not address cutting its emissions. So how does a company like Abatable address accusations that what it does here is just greenwashing? The scientific consensus tells us quite clearly that carbon offsets are one of the important tools in our toolbox to solve climate change. Uh, there's a lot of different areas that we need to invest to, whether it's forest conservation, whether it's retrofitting buildings and energy efficiency, that all of these areas can be supported through the carbon credits as a way to finance the activities. And so in reality, companies supporting these projects through carbon offsetting is on a critical pathway to net zero. So what problems do companies come to you with when it comes to net zero? So we've been speaking to a company that had previously purchased carbon offsets uh, to compensate their own emissions, but was heavily criticized by its own employees for greenwashing uh, because they didn't trust the quality of the projects they chose to support. And so they came to us looking for better knowledge and expertise and guidance on how to do better this time uh, and back credible and high integrity projects. Each carbon project is different. There are no clear rules on what constitutes a high quality project, so Abatable has to be careful about who it chooses to work with. To help make its decisions, it consults an independent technical advisory board. It allows Abatable to bring in expertise from the ground, from, from the field, so to speak, uh, from different aspects of their business where they don't necessarily have that in-house expertise. And it also provides kind of a third party independent verification of the processes that they're developing. The journey to net zero is still a lengthy one. Abatable encourages companies to think in the long term and to support projects not just today, but through ongoing contributions that will help scale these projects to fight climate change in the years to come.